somebody? Mm. <laughs> oh, she likes CNN movies. Oh, yes? <laughs> She's a star. This is a beautiful place. We are here in Victoria enjoying today. Actually we have classes, but during the day we have a little bit off so we can rest and enjoy. We at the moment we were taking pictures, so you will see it. It's a sunny day, the words are very calm. Very nice to take uh, videos and pictures and enjoying the views and a lot of animals, a lot of birds oh, yes. flying around and fishing. <laughs> so this beautiful place, a lot of rocks, and we are enjoying uh, our visit to Victoria, BC, Canada. The tango community is growing, is uh, working a lot. They are eager to learn and they are very respectful of tango and they love to practice and improve. So we are so happy, they are so friendly. Yep. Very friendly yeah. here. Canada is amazing, it's beautiful, And super, talking super about friendly. being friendly, we have to talk about being friendly at the milongas. Yep, right? oh yeah. How topic, we do that? <laughs> topic for today. <laughs> so a quick tip for the, I will start with the leader, is that okay? Yes. Yeah. So we are going to start with the leaders. Leaders, if you ever go to a table to invite a lady to dance, yes? And you can do cabeceo, that's, perfect but in the case you go to a table and you invite a, a lady to dance and she says no never ask the rest that are on the tables at that moment you can ask later but if she says no don't turn around and say and you and you and you because they will feel like a leftover which is not very good for the father well, <laughs> main yes. course and it's yes. a second place so um, that's a quick tip for the leaders all the way I mean if you do that they won't dance with you ever again and also, yeah, it doesn't feel good. Um, as a follower, I will uh, recommend when you go to the milongas to have in mind that you are going to enjoy the night, the company of other people and the music and being with friends. And it doesn't have to be like you are going to be dancing 100% of the time. Uh, sometimes you expect to go and dance uh, for four hours nonstop and that's not possible because uh, usually there is more followers than leaders so they have to take turns, take a, a follower to dance and then they also have to rest. And the attitude, the thought that you are going to get a partner and dance and then finish that dance and they get another partner yeah. and you dance 100% of the time, it positions you in a place that you are showing them you are desperate <laughs> for dancing. And that feels very weird to the leaders and it's not a good position for you to be. So it's better if you're more relaxed and you're sitting of course on the first row of the table, not playing with your phones mm. and not being on the back part like I don't want to dance. You, you're, the place where you sit is going to tell them if you are ready to dance, if you are waiting for them to come and invite you or you are preferring to stay just relax at the milonga. So if you want to dance, sit on the first row in the front part of the chair, facing to the dance floor, not facing even the back to the dance floor, facing to the dance floor. Um, be relaxed, just look around sometimes uh, to the leaders because they, they will do a cabeceo. So if you see one doing cabeceo, you can uh, go down and say yes with your, mm -hmm. with your face, a little smile. But yeah, remember not uh, showing that you are desperate for dancing because that's the vibration goes out. And also talking about that, sometimes as a leader, see if we see the follower like Miriam was saying, desperate, like staring at the guys, it's a little bit intimidating. So I think for them to be more interested for the interesting for the follower, um, I think with a little smile while you are panning with your face, with a little smile, like ching, it will tell us uh, that you you are willing to dance. Yes, you are available, but you are not desperate. So it's a good thing for the follower and we can know that way. A big secret on how to get the leaders to invite you is to be a good dancer. Oh yes. That's a main secret. It doesn't count if you have a short skirt 
or long heels. skirt, high heels, lower heels. We are around the world going to all the milongas and we know, we see that and we have that, that experience that uh, leaders are taking the followers when they are good dancers. They can be uh, younger, older in age, yes. heavier or skinnier, any race, any religion, any dress. And that's the beauty of tango, it's inclusive. Yeah. You shall have to be a good follower. You have to take classes, you have to learn, you have to practice and improve and be a good dancer. And everybody will like to dance with you and will enjoy dancing with you. Another tip for the leaders, I mean, it applies for everybody, but mostly for the leaders that we are in charge of the line of dance. Never back up in the line of dance, everybody knows that. But also, I, I sometimes I see when it's your first time at the milonga or you are not very used to go to the milonga and you are intimidated to go to the dance to the dance floor feel like it is a you know ice skating ring try to feel that when you are a beginner you go to the handrail correct so you feel safe on the edges if you go to the center you may fall you may do different things but i mean for milonga try to use that rule when you're in the dance floor, try to use the outer circle, closer to the tables, yes? Why? Because when we are dancing, this is the line of dance, we can see all this area, yes? On our right side, we are going to have the tables. So, tables are not moving, we are safe on our blind spot, yes? If we are in the middle, yes, we are going to have people moving on our left, yes. people moving on our right. Sometimes we get intimidated, we try to rotate, we bump with another leader, we get into a fight? No, not so much, maybe. <laughs> knife fight. <laughs> knife, knife <Old> fight. Times. <laughs> knife fight. <laughs> so, but yeah, if you are not very confident in the dance floor, try to use the outer circle, closer to the tables. Also, leaders, if you are using that lane, out, outside circle, don't lead the followers to do high voleos. Oh, no. Because people sitting on chairs, they got hurt. Many times we see people are just sitting, chatting on their tables, and then somebody's coming, dancing next to them, and a high heels flying because of the volley or a kick, or um, long colgadas, and uh, hitting the legs of the people who are sitting. So this is really, really a bad uh, experience. experience. It's a very bad moment because you are sitting and you get hurt. It's not possible. Yep. When you go to the milongas also, if you can, uh, leaders, probably, yes, the leader's role. Yes. <laughs> Go to the milongas and look for the new faces. Oh, yes. There's people coming from other towns and they're very um, intimidated to go to the new milongas out of town. So if you see new faces, just go and invite them to dance. Welcome them. If you're a milonga organizer, welcome them. Just mention them. They're coming from out of town. and. It's, it feels very good. It feels very uh, safe to be in a place where everybody's already welcoming you and you are new. It breaks the ice. It's, it's so nice for the rest. As an organizer, uh, you have to be in charge of integrate everybody and make the Milonga a very friendly place to be, a very happy place to be. Just when you see a new face, welcome them, invite them to dance. That will create a very good atmosphere. And lastly, this is a comment for the music, about the music. And leave us a comment below if you agree with this, what you like, and, uh, and is, what do you like? Uh, personally, I would prefer tandas of three. Three, ta three tangos, three valses, three milongas that are different ways to put the music together. But DJ sometimes will put, or most of the time, will put four tangos, four, even four milongas, four valses. And sometimes when you are a follower or a leader, a follower especially, and you are not dancing much, you have to sit throughout the whole time yeah. and it, it gets extremely long. So, or yeah, so I get, sorry, I get yes. that comment from followers. Uh, if you didn't get the, to dance on this tanda, they just wait two or three tangos and it's okay. But when they have to wait for four tangos, that makes them to sit for a long time. Yes, so I see a lot of leaders asking me, sometimes I play the music and they said, is this a first, a second, are you playing three, are you playing four? Because they want to wait for the second or the last song to dance because four is too much. And sometimes you are waiting 
for the for the music to finish or sometimes you are uh, with a follower or with a leader that you don't like you are in, you are not enjoying the dance and four songs it gets extremely exhausted i mean long yeah it's better to renew the dance floor to in three songs Leave your comment if you agree with this, what you prefer, three. Once even in a practica, we had a little gender balance, like it was a little off, so we were playing two. That was good for the practica, <laughs> it was really good, everybody enjoyed that. Everybody was super happy, everybody came yeah. and said, hey, it was really nice because I got to dance a lot, even though there yeah. was a gender balance was not even, so... Yeah, because you, for, you have two songs, you force everybody to change partners, and that's yeah. more fun for everybody. Yeah. Okay, so... Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye from Canada. <laughs>